disabled dreamers. Um, I wanted to make a follow-up video on my cardiologist appointment. So, um, on a good note, I got to take my LifeWatch heart monitor off for a month, but not because the doctor didn't want me to keep having it. He was just afraid after four months that the insurance wouldn't cover it for a, like more time, and he wants to do more testing, like a long period of testing, again in a couple months. So we're just taking a small little break from it. it I'm taking a month off of that. So I'm kind of happy about that. Um, the doctor prescribed me a transdermal um, scope patch, um, which you leave on for 72 hours or three days, and you put it right behind your ear, right here. Or if you got like, you can put it like right up here. Um, and basically, the medicine is absorbed into your skin, and then you take it off. And then you put another one on after three days on the other side. Now it's been, I'm on my third day, so I'll demonstrate um, here in a second. So I'm just going to put it like right here. This is like where my ear is, and then this is where I'm going to put it. And it comes in a bottle, like a big bottle. And cold. Trans. Transdermal scope. It's 100, um, 1.5 milligrams, and scopamine. Yeah. So I'm always afraid I'm gonna rip it when I'm opening it. Like I don't think I will, but so. Um, okay, that was weird. And so then it comes on this, and then you have to take off. It's basically like a band-aid, if you look at it. Um, you can't really see, but it's like a skin, like a tan skin tone um, band-aid. And then you just peel it off. And then you apply it. And then you're supposed to hold it on for um, 60 seconds. And uh, um, for me, I've been having side effects, but the doctor's not sure if I'm having side effects from the medicine, medicine um, directly. I fainted and went unconscious five times yesterday in one day. And then I fainted and went unconscious two times today. Um, so I talked to my doctor and... Um, He's not sure if it's the medicine directly. He told me to try it for another three days. If I'm still having these side effects, then we're going to stop my lisinopril, which I have high blood pressure. So we're going to stop my lisinopril. And because he's assuming when I'm fainting, my blood pressure is low. Uh, but I have high blood pressure, and my blood pressure stayed between 160 and 185 for an entire year before I was put on blood pressure medicine. And when I forget to take my blood pressure medicine, it goes way high. So I'm kind of skeptical about getting off the blood pressure medicine. But if it's going to help, I'll do anything. <laughs> so, yeah, so then you just keep on. And then you can take your finger off of it. And I'm not going to take it this one off. I'm going to take it off when I get back into the house. Um, you're supposed to wrap the little band-aid in, um, like, a paper towel or like a piece of toilet paper because after third three days you assume that the medicine is going to be all gone but there is a chance that there will still be lingering medicine so you don't want to expose anybody who may touch the trash can or accidentally touch it or the medicine getting on items that would be touched you don't want it to do it you're supposed to always wash your hands before and after putting it on and yeah I kind of felt a little bit better the first day, but now with my drastic going unconscious and fainting again, then I am back to having more issues. Um, the doctor said that this is an experiment medicine, but if this medicine doesn't work, then we might have to look at the route, route of a pacemaker, 
which would require heart surgery, of course, um, which really makes me super nervous. And, yeah. People like that, I know though that some people I know who have pacemakers said that it's helped a lot, and they performed millions of health, um, heart surgeries and done millions of pacemakers, and it isn't that risky of a surgery, but still, any surgery is not a reason to look forward to. And I'm already having horrible side effects to this medicine. The other side effect I've been having, obviously, is dizziness, and yesterday, my dry mouth was uncontrollable. I could not taste any flavor in any food whatsoever, and I felt super dehydrated. Today, I was able to have some taste back in my mouth. I am still battling with dry mouth, and obviously I haven't fainted that much today. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so, I hope you guys have enjoyed um, this video. And subscribe, like, comment, message, watching this. <laughs> and yeah, I will talk to you later.